Hey, my name is Phil from LegitMarketingReviews.com and in today's video, we're gonna be looking at a domain and web hosting platform called Namecheap. Now, in this Namecheap review, I wanna show you exactly what Namecheap is, some of the websites I'm currently using with it, and I'm also going to show you how to get set up really quick and easily. Now, if you wanna get the best possible price for Namecheap, I have also left a link in the description, and that's going to take you to some of the promotions that are currently running, so if you want a good deal, make sure you use that link. So first of all, what is Namecheap? Like I mentioned earlier, it is a domain and web hosting platform. They also have different services as well, like emails, as well as SSL certificates and a numerous amount of other things as well. But basically what they are known for is their cheap domain prices. I used to use a service called GoDaddy, but after looking at the price differences, uh, Namecheap was so much cheaper. So now I actually host all of my domains with Namecheap. And they also now do web hosting. Now, there are a lot of other web hosts out there. And to tell you the truth, Namecheap for the price they're actually charging is one of the best I've actually seen. Their services are really quick and their support is amazing. The features, it's fully featured. So this is an incredible type of platform. But basically what I'm going to do right now is jump behind the screen and show you everything you need to know about Namecheap. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna start here on the Namecheap website. Basically, what I wanna do is show you some of the features that these guys currently have, as well as some of the deals they have. Now, if your page doesn't look like this, depending on when you're watching it, it may look completely different. If you use the link in the description, no doubt though, you will see a sale that's going on. So if you wanna save some dollars, make sure you get that. But first of all, if we look here on this page, we can see we have things like domains and inside here, you've got different types of tools like the bulk domain search, different types of new TLDs, which are basically the end um, of the website domains sort of letters, like for example, .com, .eu, .au, you know, things like that. So that's a TLD. This shows all the newest ones that are out. There's also a marketplace to sell domains um, and things like transferring and all that sort of good stuff. In hosting, we have shared hosting, which most people will use. You've also got WordPress hosting, reseller hosting, VPS, and all these other good parts. We've also got things like manage WordPress and migrate to WordPress. Then we have emails, apps, security, transfer to us, and all these other bits and pieces. Now, most people, are, what I use, I should say, is the domains and the shared hosting. The reason I use shared hosting is you can actually host multiple websites inside of it for such a cheap price. So. First of all, I will show you some the simple domain search just so you understand how it works. There is a few little bits and pieces you can use with it. For example, beast mode, which is going to show you some more options for your desired name. So if I was to look for a website, let's just say I'm gonna look up funnelsociety.net. Let's just see if it's available and let's see what happens. So as you can see, it's now bringing up a list of uh, domains the reason I'm choosing this is I bought the dot co so I'm going to show you everything about that in a minute so this looks like it's uh, ready to buy at the moment you can see there's a deal going on SM SBM 2021 I think that's small business month and then it shows us a different selection of all the different types of TLDs that you can have with it and you can see they have over 400 additional extensions so there's loads now if you were to potentially choose a name that wasn't available what you can actually do is go to beast mode and you can type in some different ideas Ideas. you can put in a price range that you're willing to pay you can uh, turn off the premiums because no one really wants to pay five thousand dollars for a domain and you can also hide the unavailable so you don't see it but basically what you want to do is come inside here choose the different types of TLDs that you actually want to have um, listed so as you can see if you scroll down here's all these different ones you can have so basically choose the ones that you want to get listed click on uh, generate and it's going to go ahead and get some different ideas for you so what I generally do is I will take Take off 500,000 and usually put in say $20. Um, domains usually only cost you about $8 or less. And then I'll choose the ones I'm actually looking for and then I can go from there. So it's really easy. If you come down, you can see it's extremely cheap for some domains. For example, $1 per year, um, $2, $3, $1.80, $1.17. So this gives you the best possible price in town, which is really um, good and yeah this is pretty much where I get all my domains from so moving forward let's talk about web hosting so if you come to the hosting tab you'll notice there is a multiple uh, 
different options for hosting. To be honest, most people only need shared hosting. The reason you would have VPS hosting or WordPress hosting itself would be if you want to have even faster websites that you can take uh, more visitors with. But to be honest, you will never hit that sort of limit unless you get at least 100,000 uh, visitors per month or you have a really heavy website. Majority of people, literally 99% of the people can use shared hosting easily. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you the different prices and then I'm going to log into my now you can see how ridiculously cheap this is honestly it's the cheapest hosting I've probably seen as you can see here we have Stellar which is $1.18 a month we've got Stellar Plus which is what I highly recommend getting which is $1.98 per month and then we've got Stellar Business which is $4.80 the reason I said get Stellar Plus and the reason I use Stellar Plus is because you can have unlimited websites and you have unlimited storage right it's crazy plus you also get an auto backup so if anything went wrong um, you can easily go ahead and back it up and there's three data centers as well depending on where you are in the world you want to get the closest one to you or the one that's going to be seen by the most amount of visitors for example i'm in new zealand but majority of my website visitors are in the us so i based my website in the us so that's what i highly recommend you're not going to get a better price once again if you want to get the best possible price use the link in the description so now let's get into my dashboard. Now this is most likely going to be blanked out so you can't actually see some of my domains. But as you can see, this is my dashboard. It's saying hello to me here and the timestamp which is there. But inside here, you can see here is where is going to be your domains, your different types of hosting and your emails, SSL certificates and different types of apps. So it's a very straightforward process. If we come to domains, there is a list of domains that you own inside of this panel here now i've actually searched this particular one so once again you didn't see all the domains but once you have your domain purchased it is going to appear here now you'll notice it says domain privacy protection is on you get that free with all domains so once again it's an amazing deal for the price so what i'm actually going to do is show you how you can actually use your domain for web hosting and it's extremely easy to do right so if you come if you click on the domain click on manage it's going to take you to this page here and if you've purchased namecheap web hosting all you need to do to actually use this domain on your web hosting is click on this little down arrow click on namecheap web hosting and click on tick and now this website or this domain i should say is ready to use on your shared hosting so what i'm actually going to do is go to the hosting list to show you that i actually have a couple of different uh stellar plus plans inside of here these will most likely be hidden and to get into the cPanel, it's actually really easy, so you can start using it. Just come to the right here, you can see go to cPanel, click on that, and it's going to bring up this page here. Then once you're at this page, we can actually start building the websites. So what I'm going to do is actually show you how to add another domain to your web hosting, and then I'm going to install WordPress and show you how easy it is to use. So basically what you want to do is scroll down to add-on domains here click on add-on domains and this is going to uh, allow you to actually add another domain into your web hosting so this one is called funnelsociety.co like so click off it it's going to put in these details click add domain and what it's going to do is actually go ahead and create it you're going to go get uh, your domain now added to your web hosting it's gone ahead and created like a root folder everything like that so you can go ahead and actually install a website so what we need to do next is actually come back to cpanel like so scroll right down to the bottom and you can see on the left at the bottom here we have scripts and there is wordpress so you want to click on wordpress then when this page appears you want to click on an install now and then you can see you've got this little down arrow if you've only got one domain it will be the one that's there but your new domain should be listed just click on that make sure there's nothing on in directory because that's going to be your website url and then you can name it so for example i was going to call this funnel scene um, and I'm going to say sales funnels and website community something like that All right admin I'll just leave this as is and copy that put in an email address that you can always get access to scroll right down and then click on install now this is only going to take literally like 10 seconds if that and your website is going to be created so if we just wait a couple more seconds there it is it's all done and if I click on the administrative URL, like so, it's going to say this, that's fine. It's going to install a SSL in a moment, but I'm going to go ahead, click on proceed to funnelsociety.code. And here is our new website. 
quick and easy and that is that now just keep in mind you do get a free ssl um, for a year with namecheap for all of your websites you add so don't worry about your ssl certificate until next time around but that is your website and it is good to go and just to show you it is just a default website it's all ready to be customized and content to be added so before we continue i will also show you for example how to actually add an email now that you have got your brand new website i know a lot of people get stuck on this so what you want to do is come to email click on email accounts and inside here you can actually go ahead click on create then you want to choose the domain that you want to have um, the website for so I'm going to choose funnel society choosing a username so this is going to be at funnel society.co so I'm going to put hello you want to type in a password um, like so right uh, make sure you get the criteria created and then you just click on create and that's it it's going to go ahead create the email account for you now you can actually go ahead and either uh, connect it to your devices for example if you are using mac or if you're using an iphone whatever mail app you need you can actually use the uh, information that's provided down here so it's going to be your username your password and your mail service as well as the uh, imap and the smtp portal and if you are on Mac, once again, you can actually click on this button here and it's going to allow you to install directly to the Mac app, which is really cool. If you use Mozilla and Thunderbird and all these other ones as well, you can do the same thing here. For everything, I personally just use this. It's easy enough to do. So that's another thing that's easy about this entire process. It only takes a few minutes to actually get set up with a website. Now I've already got an email address and I only bought the domain just a little while ago. So it's really cool. And since we've left the website for a few minutes now, we can actually go ahead and check it out. And if I go to incognito, if I type in funnelsociety.co, you can see that it now has the lock from the SSL. So it's all been installed nice and quickly. So we might as well go ahead and test the website speed using a service, a free service called GT Metrics. So I'm gonna go ahead, paste the website in here and let's see the speed of it. Once again, this is a fresh installation of WordPress. Nothing's been modified. It is light, it is quick, it is easy. This is what you can expect to sort of see for results when you actually create your own website. So in a few seconds, once the report has been generated, you can see that it's nice and light. It's at a grade A from factory. This is not using any speed or cache plugins. Performance is 100, structure is 98. First content for paint is 471, so it's nice and quick. And um, there it is, it's basically ready to go. Full loading time, only 613 milliseconds. So that is absolutely nothing. Less than a second, this website is loaded. So that's basically uh, Namecheap. What I'm gonna do right now is jump behind the screen, just wanna talk about a few extra things. Okay, so that was Namecheap. Now, as you can see, it's very easy to get set up with. The user experience is incredible and the whole entire process is really fast. Now, I can't really fault Namecheap. I've been using them for a few years now and I'm gonna continue using them for a long time. Reason being, they're reliable, the websites are fast and everything about it is just a good time. But once again, if you wanna actually get started with Namecheap, I have left a link in the description and that's going to take you to all the current promos they have. So save yourself a few dollars and use that link. But apart from that, I hope you enjoyed this Namecheap review. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe to keep updated with all the latest videos. That's it from me. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.